met Will in the locker room and, and hugged and talked with him and his folks were there at the game. And then Will came up in the uh, in the eighth inning, had a terrible swing, his first first swing. Called a nice pitch off and got a little bit closer and ripped a double down the left field line and my wife and I went crazy uh, because we'd seen him do that for a long, long time here at Wake Forest. And it's great to see those connections to Winston-Salem and Wake Forest. The next day was the Toronto Blue Jays and Ross Atkins, their vice president and general manager, is a Wake Forest grad as well. So as I was going around to these teams, it was nice to get some of those roots established. I moved to Winston-Salem in 2011 from Grand Rapids, Michigan. My sister was the dean of libraries at Wake Forest, <coughs> and she ended up, before she retired two years ago, as the uh, vice provost at the university. So Wake Forest has been near and dear to my heart. We lived here for six years. I was married here for the second time. Last week, we celebrated five years of marriage. Lived just up the street at Calvary Baptist Church, and uh, my wife and I just recently celebrated five years of marriage. So Winston-Salem has been great to us. In addition to the broadcasting, it's been, thank you very much for the introduction, Steve. I generally say it, 93 wins and 103 losses <laughs> <laughs> is the way that it usually comes out. But um, it was a terrific time and a terrific adventure for a young man. Um, baseball this year will be celebrated in Cincinnati as the first professional organization, 150 years of professional baseball. During that time, there have been right around 19,000 players that have put on a uniform for one day or more. Not a very big number when you consider now 30 teams, 150 years, that dwindles down. The average career is just about two years in the major leagues. It's obviously the only, now the basketball has a developmental league, they're getting closer, but baseball, you go from rookie, from high school or college, to rookie ball, to A ball, to high A ball, which is what the Winston-Salem Dash are, to double A baseball, to triple A baseball, before you're invited to play in the, in the major leagues generally. Usually about a four year program to get yourself through those six or seven teams. Very competitive, and it's changed the way that the game has become played. It's always an interesting topic when you bring up the word analytics in baseball, because it's changing the face of the game. For better, for worse, we'll find out, but it is changing the way that the game is played. Launch angle, bat speed, velocity, everything else is changing the way people approach the game and the way that people are learning to play the game. I started with a company called F5 Sports last spring, right around this time last spring, and I was the fourth person that was hired into the company. There was an engineer named David Rankin and Steven Sukarnik who came up with the idea of putting a computer chip inside the baseball. There are some machines out there now that measure spin rate, break force, lift force, a number of different analytics that come out of the game, but they're very expensive. One of our competitors has four cameras spread around the field with a plate behind home plate where the information's gathered, costs $35,000. Can only be used in the baseball stadium. There's another machine that's high, slow speed motion uh, video photography.